All right, good morning, everyone. Yeah, we had that team coverage yesterday uh, when the remnants of Nicole moved through here. So we had some rain showers. We also had some gusty winds. But this morning, we're just dealing with some showers across our state. So uh, these showers are just running through. They're expected to run through from west to east. Our early warning pinpoint Delta right now showing some more moderate rainfall, just a couple pockets through spots of our state. So I just want to focus in real quick and uh, show you those so you can actually see in the Hartford area, East Hartford, Windsor, Bloomfield, Glastonbury, you might be seeing some heavier rain bands and then same thing over here in Ashford, Eastford and Chaplin will be keeping you posted. Of course, all morning long. We're on until 830. So uh, the system expected to move out later in the morning. So you won't need the umbrella for this afternoon. All right, our headline. So yep, we've got those pesky showers this morning. Partial sunshine this afternoon. I think eventually right before uh, the sun goes down, which is pretty early now, we're going to see full sunshine and then chilly weather for next week week below average temperatures our normal high temperature this time of year is about 53 degrees and we're forecasting temperatures in the 40s pretty much all week so definitely keep that warm jacket handy all right our early morning weather future cast showing us some of those showers yep continuing to linger through this morning now the out time I'm expecting right now any time between I think 11 and noon should be pretty safe then after that it looks like those clouds will push off to the east and we'll see some sunshine out there for this afternoon this evening it will be mostly clear, but chilly temperatures will drop down into the 30s, maybe even the upper 20s in some northern locations of our state. So it's definitely going to feel cooler than we've been feeling uh, with that extremely mild air the past couple of days. Monday sunny, nice, but breezy and temperatures in the 40s. Tuesday, we start off sunny and then we see some clouds building. This is ahead of a low pressure system expected to kind of clip us, uh, especially on the coastline. So we'll be keeping you posted on that. Here's a live look this morning in Torrington a lot of clouds out there and you can see those roadways are looking wet. Here's a live look in Old Saybrook, a uh, very cloudy feel once again. So kind of a gloomy great start to this Sunday. 24 hours ago, yes, we were so mild. We were so much warmer. I mean, look at that difference. Anywhere from really 14 degrees to 22 degrees across our state. We are now in the 40s. You can see that cooler air kind of dropping in where you see that light blue color. Uh, so that should eventually be spreading through most of inland Connecticut. We are in the 50s, a lot of spots of our state. Wind speeds coming in from the north. That is ushering in some of that cooler area. You see all that cooler air too, uh, to the west of us that is going to be pushing in. So here's a look uh, at our early warning weather future cast. You can see from Wednesday into Thursday. So there's that area of low pressure. Uh, you can see some showers through the morning and even through the afternoon. Now, one thing I do want to mention too, and uh, almost wish I could backtrack. Uh, let's see, actually. Yep, I want to show you again this area. You can see a possible mix in the northwest corner. So that is a possibility we're looking at just northwest hills because that is where the temperature is expected to be the coolest. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. Temp Temperatures in the 40s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Breezy conditions for Wednesday and Thursday. And then once again, some wet weather on Wednesday. So keep that umbrella handy. It looks like Thursday, Friday, Saturday that are going to be nice, sunny, good for outdoor activities, but once again, chilly. And uh, you can keep up to date too on our WFSB weather app. You could scan that QR code on the bottom right of your screen and download that. That's where you'll keep up to date too with the latest information, any changes towards Wednesday. I also 